Welcome, everybody. My name is Kieran Lonergan. I um, am from Understand IELTS. And in this lesson today, I will be talking about how to learn basic vocabulary with Anki flashcards and never forget it. So in this lesson, I will talk about the types of flashcards that you can make in Anki. I will show you how to make flashcards to learn basic vocabulary. I'll give you some rules and advice for making flashcards so that you can make flashcards in the most effective way possible and learn vocabulary and grammar as quickly as possible. And I will give you resources to help you make your flashcards. And finally, I will give you some homework to work on before our next lesson on Anki. So there are different types of flashcards that you can make for different purposes. If you want to learn basic vocabulary, you need to make a certain type of flashcard. There's a different type of flashcard that you can make to learn advanced vocabulary. And finally, for grammar, again, there is a slightly different kind of flashcard that you can make. In this lesson, we will be focusing on how to make flashcards to learn basic vocabulary. So, what is the difference between basic vocabulary and advanced vocabulary? Well, basic vocabulary means words that are easy to visualize, words that can be represented with an image or a picture. So these are often things like objects or simple actions. For example, restaurant. A restaurant is easy to visualize. You can display a picture and that will show you essentially what a restaurant is. Also, the word to dive. That is an action which can be easily visualized, as you can see from the picture. By, leading, by looking at that picture, I can know basically what that word means. So again, basic vocabulary means words that can be easily represented by a picture as in uh, those two examples. Advanced vocabulary, on the other hand, is difficult to visualize. Normally, these are things like abstract ideas or concepts. For example, the word to cause. Um, most of you probably know that word, but there isn't really an image that you can visualize um, that represents that word. Maybe you can visualize something, but there isn't one single image which can easily be associated with to cause. There may be many things which might represent it, but none of them um, are the only image that represents that word. Um, so another example, would be the word constantly. Again, it's not easy to visualize what that word means. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at how to make flashcards to learn basic vocabulary. And in the next lesson, we'll look at how to use flashcards to learn advanced vocabulary. So let's begin. I have a list of basic vocabulary here, dive, mop, restaurant, um, leaf, and the absolutely best way to remember these words and never forget them is by making Anki flashcards. So how do you do that? Well, you need to make the flashcards yourself. And then you need to review those flashcards 
in Anki. So let's talk first of all about how to make them. Remember, a flashcard is just a small test, basically, with a question on the front and the answer on the back. So on the front, you are going to put the word that you want to learn. And on the back, which is where the answer is, you're going to put an image of that thing. I also want you to say what type of word it is. Is it a verb, an adjective, a noun, etc.? And finally, I want you to think of a personal connection that you have with that word. And I will explain in a moment what I mean by that. Um, so here we have another list of vocabulary that uh, I want to learn. Uh, basic vocabulary, dive, roots, carry, highlight. Um, so let's start by making a flashcard to learn the first word, dive. When you make your flashcards in Anki, this is what you will see. You'll see a box like this with an area to put something on the front of your flashcard, as you can see there, and a space to put something on the back. So as I mentioned, on the front, you want to put the word that you want to learn, in this case, dive, and an image on the back, the type of word, is it a noun, is it a verb, and a personal connection. So here, as you can see, we've put our word that we want to learn, this new piece of vocabulary, dive. Okay, just learned what that means, and I want to never forget what this means. So this word goes on the front, and on the back, I need to find an image which represents that word or shows me clearly what that word means. The type of word, to dive, is a verb. And my personal connection for this word, my personal connection is south of Italy because my sister lives in the south of Italy and where she lives there are rocks from which you can dive into the sea. So when I think of the word dive, I think of those rocks in Italy and it's, uh, it forms a connection that means something to me. This is a, a really important part of making your flashcards. In order to remember something, uh, according to the science of memory, what scientists have learned about how we remember things, you need to connect that new piece of information to a memory that already exists in your brain. And if the more emotional um, that connection or that already existing memory, then the stronger the new memory will be. So you need a connection. And if it's emotional or if it means something to you, then um, that will make this new memory stronger. So that's why we are using a personal connection. For the same reason we're using an image, because us humans, we remember images much more uh, easily than words. Um, when we evolved um, many uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago, um, we it's obviously very important for us to remember um, trees and uh, paths um, and things like that so that we could navigate in um, in the area where we lived and, and that kind of thing anyway that's not so important um, what is important is to remember that an image and a personal connection will really help you remember your new word um, well so this is what uh, Anki will look like when we are making our flashcard. And 
once the card is made, we will be shown that card by Anki um, that same day and then maybe a few days later and a week later. And um, we will be given that card to review. And this is what it will look like when Anki um, shows us that card for review. On the front, you will just see the word dive. And your task is to remember what that word means, dive. Okay, what does dive, what does that word actually mean? And if you hit show answer down here, the back of the card will appear. Oh, dive. Okay, so that's what that is. And then I have my personal connection. And also I can see, okay, it's a verb. Okay, so that is the answer. You then need to tell Anki how successfully you did or how well you did in that test. Um, I didn't find it too difficult to remember what the word meant. So if I click, so in that case, I will click good. If I was unable to remember the meaning of the word dive, I should click again. Maybe I was able to remember, but it was really difficult. So I would click hard. And if it was extremely easy for me to remember that word, I would click easy. Now, depending on what you click, that tells Anki when to show you that card again. If it thinks that you really easily remembered the word dive, then it will only show you that flashcard in maybe two weeks, a month, um, something like that. You won't need to review it so frequently. But if you found it really difficult, it will show you that card in a shorter period of time. So when you see this card, what you are testing is your ability to understand the word when you see it. You see the word dive and you need to remember what that means. So this is basically um, what happens when you are reading a book or something like that. You're seeing words and you are um, trying to understand their meaning. But what happens when you are speaking or writing? Well, in that case, you need to be able to think of the correct word yourself without seeing it. You need to generate the word. You have an idea in your head, ah, this thing where you throw yourself into the sea, what is the word for that? And you need to remember the word for that. So to train that ability, you need to make a different flashcard. And the wonderful thing about Anki is that it will automatically make two cards, one that tests your ability to understand the word as if you were reading, and one that tests your ability to think of the word. So we've gone back to the screen, um, to the box that you will see when you create your flashcards. This is the image that we saw before. But if you look up here, you will see that this is where you select the type of card to make. So always when making a new card, you have to select the type of card. And I want you to select this option, basic and reversed card. And that will automatically generate two cards whenever you make a new card. The new, the second card that it makes will look like this. So this is the front of the card. I will see an image. Ah, okay. Um, I know what that is. Uh, what is what is the word for for that action? And if I hit answer, I will see 
the answer up here. Okay, die. So now, as you can see, we have two different cards. One that shows me the word and I have to guess the meaning and one that shows me the meaning and I have to guess the word. So let me just give you a, um, a quick demonstration of myself making um, flashcards to learn these words. So let me exit um, the presentation and open Anki. So this is what I see when I open the Anki application. And if I want to create a new card, I am going to click add. And this is the panel that I showed you. I need to select the type of card that I want to create. And as I told you, why can I not click on that? It's not allowing me to click. It's not allowing me to click anywhere, strangely enough. Okay. Ah, okay. So what happened was, let me close this. When I click here on the type of card, here I can see all the types of cards that I can make. Now, when you newly install Anki, you will have these options, basic, basic and reversed, optional reversed card. And as I mentioned before, you should select basic and reversed card. You also, whenever you make a card, should choose the deck that it goes into. Now, the deck is just the folder, basically. So here we have different folders, um, and I can select a folder. When I hit this, I can select which folder I want my new card to go into. Um, or I can create a new deck, which is what I'm going to do. And, my, my, and I did that by clicking add down here. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to make a new deck English. Um, English. Now, um, I suggest that you just have one deck for all your cards. Basic vocabulary, advanced vocabulary, grammar. Just keep it nice and simple. Um, I think that's the best way to organize your English study. So that's what I'm going to do. I have my English deck. I have my basic and reverse card. And the word I wanted to learn was root. So I'm going to type the word here. And on the back, I need an image. So I'm going to find an image of well actually first of all i think i'm going to check the meaning of the word so i'm going to type in wordreference.com which is a website that i recommend and if you click here you can click the translation um, as a rule when making flashcards everything you do should be in english because you're teaching yourself to think in english you're not teaching yourself to translate so root, okay, and here we have a definition, part of the body of a plant that develops downwards into the soil. Okay, um, this is just to try to understand the meaning better. We have example sentences. Um, and we also have the um, type of word. This N means that it's a noun. Okay, I'm, I'm happy that I know what the word means. Um, presumably at this stage when you're making the card, you will already have the meaning. Um, so I'm just going to go to Google and type in the word root and click images. And this is where I'm going to get my image. Okay, wonderful. So this is pretty clear. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time to find an image that I like. Um, the more personal you make your cards, the easier they will be to remember and the quicker you will learn English. So don't just select the first image that you see. Select an image that means something to you, an image that you like. 
So um, I think this is actually a beautiful image right here. Um, this is my favorite one. I'm going to hit copy image and I'm just going to paste that in here. Now I can make that image smaller if I want to. What's the next thing that I need? It is the type of word. Root is a noun, at least um, the version of the word that I'm learning now is a noun. It is also a verb, but I'm just learning the noun version. And my personal connection. Okay. Um, this is quite difficult, but um, I have a, a, a plant at home, a banana tree, and um, we had to get a bigger pot for that plant because its roots were getting too big. So um, when I think of roots, I think of my banana plant at home. So that is my personal connection. And I'm going to click add. And that is my card created. Now, what was the next word? The next word was um, carry, I think. So again, if I want to check the meaning, I can do that here. And I have many definitions and example sentences here. And the type of word, V, this is a verb to carry. And I'm going to get my image. Oops, one R, I mean, two Rs. Okay, and I'm going to look for a nice image that represents carry. Um, Lots of images of trucks here. Okay, this is like me when I was moving um, house last year. So um, I like this one, actually. I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to um, paste it in here. Now let's not forget that on the front, I want the word that I'm learning. Um, the word is a verb. And my personal connection is when I moved into my new home last year, um, I actually carried my wife into the home. It was just kind of a, a funny, um, slightly romantic sort of gesture. Um, but that is a, a, a very personal moment that I remember carrying something. Um, so that is my personal connection. Um, carrying Karen into our new home. Um, in fact, because this is going to make um, two cards and this card will be on the front of the second card, I'm not going to include this word carry. I'm just going to put um, entering our new home with Karen. Okay, and I'm going to add this card. Let's make one more card. Um, the word that I want to learn is highlight. So again, I can check the meaning here in word reference. Highlight, it's a verb and it's a noun um, to emphasize or make something stand out. We have example sentences here, which are very helpful. Um, I can listen to what the word sounds like with an English accent by clicking here. I didn't show you that before, but this is also a fantastic feature of this website. Um, so this is the best place to come to learn about the meaning of your word. And let's look for an image, highlight. Okay, so highlights. Okay, so 
it must have something to do with hair as well when somebody changes the color of their hair that must be highlighting their hair but actually this is what i'm looking for um, this is the meaning that i want to learn to highlight a piece of information so i'm going to copy this image i'm going to add it to my card um, i know that the word is a verb and when I do practice reading tests, I need to highlight lots of important vocabulary. So I'm going to put reading tests here as my personal connection. And I'm going to click add. That's all I'm going to make today. Three words that I want to learn. So I can close this. I can close this because I'm not adding any new cards. And I'm going to find my English deck and I have six new cards to review in my English deck. So let's see what cards I have to review. I'm going to study now. Root. What is a root? Um, okay, I think I remember what a root is. It's those uh, under the ground where the tree continues to grow. Yes, exactly. Okay, it's a noun. And here I have my personal connection. Okay, so that was pretty easy. So I'm going to hit good. Because this is a new card, Anki will show me that again in 10 minutes time. So for new cards, you are shown, you are tested two times on the first day. Because if it's new information, it's possible that you might forget it really easily. So Anki will keep showing you that to help you reinforce that memory. In this case, I actually found it really easy. So I'm going to click easy. And now Anki will show me that card in four days time. Carry. Okay, what does carry mean? Uh, I can think that's when you have to um, uh, normally using your hands, uh, take transport something in your hands, basically. Is that correct? Yes, it is. I have this image showing me to carry. Okay, it's a verb. And this is my personal connection. Okay, that wasn't so easy. So I'm going to hit good. And highlight. Um, what is to highlight? I think it means to um, identify, um, import something important and um, put some kind of mark there so that people can see that it's important. Yes, okay. So that is what highlighting is. To highlight, it's a verb. And I need to do that when I do my reading tests. Okay, so these are my, uh, these are my cards. Um, let me try to show you the... Let me try to show you the, um, the second card that was created. I may not be able to do that, but let me just try. Um, okay, so I'm going to show answer, show answer, good. Okay, so one or more cards were buried and will be shown tomorrow. When you make two cards automatically, Anki will not show you those cards on the same day because it will be too easy. What it will do is it will show you the first card on the first day and then the second card that it made automatically on the second day. But I'm just going to select an option here so that we can see what those cards look like. Um, so now you will notice that here I have uh, an image, but I don't have the word that represents that image. So, okay, what, what are these? What is this? Okay, they are roots. Think, let me see. Yes, root. The plural would be roots. Um, okay, good. Okay, what is this? This is to. Okay, personal connection here. When I entered our new home with Carrie, what did I with Karen? What did I do? Ah, uh, yes, carry. I carried her. And here we have the image. Okay, what is that action there? Um, I have to do it when I do my reading tests. Um, okay, highlight to highlight. Okay, so 
Uh, I hope that shows you basically how to make flashcards in Anki. That was with this Anki application that you can see here. You can see this logo that I'm showing you um, with the star. There is another application. Um, I haven't used it. I'm not familiar with it. Um, I think this one apparently works better. So I recommend that you use this one across your devices. Let me just um, reconnect my presentation. Okay, so we used Anki to make cards to learn these words, dive, roots, carry, and highlight. Now, to finish, I just want to talk about good ways and bad ways to make flashcards. As with all things, especially studying English, there's a good way to study and a bad way to study. Some students learn English very quickly, others never progress, um, never make progress because they're not studying in the correct way. So what is the best way to make flashcards? Well, first of all, you need to make an effort. When you are creating your flashcards, that is, you need to make an effort and you need to think carefully about the image you use and um, those kinds of things. The more effort and thought that you put into making flashcards, the more memorable they will be. And that will help you to never forget the flashcards, never forget that, vocab that vocabulary. And if you do that, you will learn much more quickly. Now, this is just generally a good rule for studying. The more effort and thinking that you do, the more active you're learning, the more quickly you will learn. Um, there's obviously also a bad way to make flashcards that involves making as little effort as possible, um, giving it no thought, just trying to do things automatically. And if you do that, you will always forget your flashcards. You will have to repeat them again and again and again. You won't, you will find that you're not remembering your new words and you will learn very slowly. So let me go into a bit more depth about how to um, use Anki and make flashcards in the best way. So these are the rules that I want you to follow when making flashcards. First of all, everything should be in English. No translations. You are not going to use your native language at all. You don't need to use your native language. And the sooner you start to do everything in English, the sooner you will begin to think in English. Essentially, what you're trying to train yourself to do is to think in English. Um, and there's no reason to wait for that to happen. You can start doing it now by doing everything in English. Um, obviously, you will have to actively use your brain um, in order to do that and think carefully. And I also want you to think carefully when creating your cards. So think carefully when you choose an image. Choose an image that you like, something that means something to you. Um, often there will be images of people or animals, that kind of thing. Choose a person that you like the look of for some reason or another. Maybe it looks like someone you know or a uh, you know, an animal that you like, or just try to make it somehow personal to you. Um, and also take time to think of a good personal connection. As I explained previously, we need to make connections in order to remember things. And if you can think of a personal connection, then that memory will be even stronger. And this is all backed up by the science of how we remember things. So you want to learn as quickly as possible, then you should follow these rules. One last thing, prioritize. It's very tempting, especially at the beginning, to try to learn every new word that you see. But don't try to learn everything. Only select the most important words 
or the most important grammar structures. These are the ones that you are going to use more frequently than others, or the grammar structures that you get wrong all the time. Prioritize those things and start slowly. Start, start slowly because then you will build the habit of creating flashcards every day and you won't give up. If you try to make 20 new cards or 30 new cards every day, by the end of the week, you will have hundreds of cards to review and you will probably not be able to do that. Um, you will not be able to keep up that speed of, um, or that you will not be able to review that number of cards every day. So start by just making four cards a day or even two cards a day. Um, two of the most important words that you um, have identified. So again, this requires thought. What is the most important word to learn today? What is the most important grammar structure? And take time making those cards um, and only make a few of them, especially at the beginning when you are still just learning how to make cards and you're learning how to use Anki. To um, end, I just want to highlight some of the resources that I've used or that I've shown you in this lesson. So there was Google Images to create, to find the images for your flashcards. Wordreference.com is the best website for definitions. It's better than the official dictionary pages because word reference is designed for language learners so you have the you can hear the pronunciation of the word you get lots of example sentences and the sentences are simple because they are designed for language learners as i said another really good resource especially if you are maybe more of an intermediate at more of an intermediate level with your english is the 1000 most common words in english It's a really good idea when you're at a lower level to learn the most common words. If you learn all of those words and you know that what they mean, you will be able to communicate effectively. There's no point learning other less common words before you learn those 1,000 most common ones. And there is, if you just type 1,000 most common words in English and then ef.com you will find this word list they also have a list of the 3000 most common words which again um, it's a smart thing to make sure that you use the most common words in english if you learn the meaning of all of those words using flashcards you will understand 90 percent of all english that is spoken english that is used in newspapers and articles and that kind of thing so if you want a list of words to learn to make your flashcards, then that is a good place to start. I also suggest you use corrections from your teacher. You will make vocabulary errors, you will make grammar errors, and that is probably the best source of content for your flashcards. Now, in the next lessons, I will show you how to make flashcards to learn grammar which you will need to make when you get grammar corrections, basically. And finally, um, I want you to use your brain. As I've said a couple of times before, the more effort and thought you put into this whole process, the faster you will learn. It's quick, but it's not necessarily easy. So don't think that Anki flashcards enable you to learn vocabulary automatically. No. They allow you to learn vocabulary and grammar really quickly, but only if you put in the required effort and thought as you undertake this whole process. So that's the end of my presentation. To summarize, to learn basic vocabulary when you make your flashcards, select basic and reversed card as the type of card you want to make. On the front, put the word you want to learn, and on the back, 
put an image, the type of word that it is. Is it a noun? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective? Is it a, an adverb? And think of a personal connection. That will generate two cards for you. In the next lesson, I will show you how to make Anki flashcards to learn advanced vocabulary. The flashcards will be slightly different because you cannot use an image really to represent the word that you want to learn. So that is what we will see in the next lesson. And I will leave you with a little bit of homework. Um, I'd like you to review the list of the 1000 most common words at ef.com. It sounds like a lot, but it, you will know the vast majority of those words. So you can scan through that list and you might find some really important words that you don't really know the meaning of. So you should make flashcards to learn those words. Make your first flashcards. Start by making maybe four a day and review them every day just to get into the habit, the routine of making flashcards every day and reviewing them every day. And finally, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments.